Hello my dear friends today i would like to share a story with you this was sent to me by one of my friends yesterday it touched my heart so i thought it's important to tell you rather than forwarding a story i thought i'll narrate to you there were four classmates in a school and these four classmates used to have a bicycle each those days bicycle was a very big thing and they used to come to school and go from the school on their bicycles and that was their company they were very close friends very 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 deeply connected and school was over they went to college together all those things are over and they are parting ways life takes us to different directions from school we have great friendships but as we grow further we have different friendships different destiny so they all were parting before that the day before it was january 1st they decided to meet at a restaurant a very cute unique restaurant in the city and they had collected some money and they came together they had great dinner and they pooled the money and they paid to the waiter and while they were settling the bills one of them said look here let's take a vow that we will not meet each other for the next 40 years but on the 40th year january 1st we should meet here in the same place same restaurant they all agreed they parted ways years went by and everybody remembered this 40th year appointment january 1st happened three of them turned up they came one of them did not come and when they came to the hotel the restaurant they found that it has become a big hotel and the waiter who was assisting them or serving them at that time has become the owner of this hotel and they were all happy to meet each other because 40 years so many things have changed the entire city has changed everything changed they all met each other they were happy to meet each other they were cracking jokes and uh, the waiter who is now the owner said sir the table has been booked by the friend who has not turned up as yet but he called and said please continue with your food he will be late because he is caught up in traffic or some reason and uh, they he started serving them starters then the then it eventually became main course and this fellow didn't turn up and they were a bit disappointed but then they were all busy talking sharing their informations they what they were, were doing in the last 40 years all those things were happening and they were very busy with this sharing and finally the the time ended the, the served dessert everything was over so they said okay we'll leave now but what about this fellow he never turned up he never even called then uh, they decided okay we'll catch up and then they came out when they came out one young man came running towards them and started touching their feet and taking their blessings they were surprised he said they asked who who are you so he said and the son of the friend who's missing who did not turn up and he said i am the collector of this city and my father used to be a teacher and he gave me enough uh, support and i am the collector now and by the way my father passed away last month he's not here but he always remembered this appointment and he told me on january 1st on 40th year this meeting should happen but he can't be there because he is no more he made sure the son paid for the whole thing and it was really touching for them they all started crying they did not know what to think and they between them they said we could have come one year earlier so my friends time is valuable meetings are valuable friendships are valuable if we miss it if we think we can do at a certain date much later maybe it won't happen it may not take place the story is is very important in our lives today we are all busy we avoid so many things because we are busy talking to our friends connecting to our friends to our family to our children 
we miss all these things at certain point in time when we realize we missed all these things it might be too late like this friend who passed away just a month ago and could not attend this party the meeting which they had promised 40 years ago but his son fulfilled it but that's not the same and all the while he was remembering this but he refused to contact anybody because he wanted to stick to the vow that they will not communicate they will not contact as a surprise they will arrive so this is exactly how our life works i would like you to think isn't it relationship really important i've seen people just separating as if they don't care but how did we meet destiny brought us together and why we are parting because of only of our minds or minds filled with expectations or uh, a transactional kind of relationship most probably friends think about it if we are matured enough we will stay together we will be there for each other and this is very important these are the beauty beautiful flowers of life these are the beautiful flowers of life good relationships great lessons from such stories that things can just wash away in no time time takes things away life is important friendships are even more important and staying as friends is very important that shows our maturity trustworthiness togetherness companionship we are worthy to be friends through sun and rain through difficult times and good times we should stay together friendships are very important friendships there could be weaknesses there could be failures there could be disappointments it's all fine everything will happen in life but friendships don't leave them if you leave them you may not get them back maybe it's too late that's why many people go to the graveyards and put the flowers there because they regret not having a good friendship at the right time or a good connection at the right time many of them these flowers would look much more beautiful if you deliver into the hands of your friends or whom you love think about it this mohan ji for you Thank you.